Morning guys, today is November 19th and uh, tomorrow is the anniversary of my dad passing away four years ago so hopefully he's watching over us and uh, guiding us in whatever whatever way we need to go but uh, tomorrow is also the five-year anniversary of me bringing home the John Deere A so that's kind of cool too so um today we're gonna do some more cold starts I gotta fire up the H I gotta fire up the case and uh, I don't know if I'll get to the John Deere or not I'm kind of pressed for time we got a couple of uh, doctor's appointments this afternoon, so that's uh, what we got going on later. But I do have to get the case out of the garage because there's going to be a portion of the video later that we're going to be needing the case in. And I have to get the H running and hook it up to the trailer because I went and got some uh, more pallets yesterday and a bunch of free um, shovels brooms rakes so can't go wrong with that and uh yeah i want to try to take some of those pallets out back into the boardwalk if they're not froze down already and uh try to quickly um replace the ones that have broken slats in them that i use just to get me by but more than likely they're froze down because after all it is in a swamp so I'm probably just going to end up picking the area that I want to put the small cabin in and uh, lay out some pallets there. Um, some of the pallets do have uh, a lot of plywood on them, which is great because I can use that for the flooring on that cabin. So that's going to be a huge, uh, huge help. And. Um, some decent 2 by 12 some of them I got to tear apart because they're not really pallets they're more of like a I don't know if they were shelving for pallet racking or what but there's a a decent amount of good wood there so I'm going to try and save as much as I can and uh, go from there so but I also want to give a big shout out to Big Daddy 1992 he sent me a little little care uh, care envelope if you will and uh, it's a sticker for his for his channel that he sent me so I'm gonna go ahead and stick that on the toolbox and uh, let's see find a good spot for it it's probably as good a spot as any so I'll get you a uh, see if I can get you a view Set you on the doorknob, but all right. There it is. So, for those of you that haven't. Check out Big Daddy 1992's channel and uh, see what he's got going on over there. He's got some good videos, so check them out. And um, let's head into the backyard here. I suppose I could fire up the case and drive that back there, but uh, I guess let's go ahead and do that. Let me throw this away. And I gotta move some chairs quick. So I'll pause the video while I get these chairs put away and then we'll fire up the case and head back there. All right, now this thing hasn't been started in quite a while, so we'll see. I think the last time we started it was probably in October when we pulled that those couple trees out. <laughs>
No, it runs good. Let's turn the fuel off. And then we'll uh, run this out of gas quick and fire up the H. I should probably make sure there's fuel in it. Oh, there's probably fuel. These things are pretty easy on fuel, so probably plenty.
this is the load we got. So there's a number of large pallets. This one here is 4x4s and 2x6s, so I'll probably tear that one apart. And then on the bottom, there are this one here is 2x10s, I believe. Probably. Maybe 2x8s. Let's see. Put my foot up there. 2x10s. And then there's a 4x8 sheet of plywood and a 4x4 sheet of plywood. And underneath those are the two bases that I got. I want to say they're probably 4x8. So I'll put them together, that's an 8x8 base, which would be a pretty decent sized little play cabin. So, yeah, I'm going to start unloading these pallets and go from there. Okay, this is the plywood and 2x10s, 2x12s I was talking about. So, underneath here, you can see there's platforms that have four by fours for runners or for a base and then they have two by tens and two by twelves for runners on top of that so they're pretty heavy but they'll work great for uh, out in the swamp but I'll show you guys kind of what what we got going on back here I had to take my jacket off. I was getting too hot hauling these pallets all the way back here. It's quite a ways. So the boardwalk goes up to where I've got the tractors parked over there, but then it goes back further into our property. And this is kind of where I've stopped right here. But this tree here, that's going to be, I think, my primary bow hunting tree. And there's one further back. I don't know if you guys can see it. But it goes up right here. That is going to be my secondary bow hunting tree. So, and uh, let's see, I can probably take you guys back a little further. There's a lot of deer trails. There's one that goes right here underneath there. But there's a lot of them back here. And this uh, this big dead tree here is kind of my marker for the edge of the swamp. It gets really soft in here. So, I mean, it's that tall swamp grass so I don't uh, plan on going any further back than this so but excuse me while I dodge all the low-hanging branches here but my goal is or was to be far enough back where I couldn't see any houses and for the most part that goal is met but my neighbors is just through the trees that way you can kind of see their house there but I don't think you'll be able to see much of anything that's back here from their house so that's good I just want to keep everything out of sight out of mind you know and then this is kind of where I'm planning on putting this little makeshift cabin so I've already got one layer down 
and the second layer will go on top of this part. But I think the cold is really killing my battery here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pull the H around front so I can pull all that plywood off. Um, those two by tens, two by eights, two by tens, two by twelves, whatever they are, and then keep that in the garage so it's nice and protected from the elements. And I'm gonna plug the camera in here so that way uh, it doesn't die on us for what we got planned later. All right. Talk to you soon. Start busting the stuff apart and on to the next part of the video. bit of a snag with the farm all M here. I don't know if you guys can hear that in the background but uh, as you guys are probably well aware it's been below freezing here for most of the last month 
And when tractors sit outside, uh, especially farm alls, they're known to accumulate water in the rear end. And I went to use the tractor and the rear end was locked up, which means there's ice in the rear. So I've got, I'll show you kind of what the system I have going right now is. A bunch of blankets I got from Domino and a torpedo heater. And I've got that pointed right at the rear. The pumpkin on the rear here, the lower part of the differential. And then I also cracked the drain plug at the rear. I'll get a video of that. But there's been a steady drip of water coming out for at least the last 20 to 30 minutes. So I'll show you guys kind of what I got going on back here. But essentially what happened when I went to move it was this left side was locked up, which seemed odd to me because the right side is really what's lower and usually water settles to the lowest point when it's mixed with oil but i'm guessing you know the the water was just in a place where it froze up the one side but you can see here probably not real well but there's a steady drip coming right from the right from the drain plug so it's pretty warm to the touch and I've already rocked it back and forth by hand and it's it's already moving so I'm just gonna let it warm up some more in case there is any any other ice in there that might get jammed up one of the things with these these farm alls is uh, when they get ice in there those those bull gears are there's not much clearance between the, the bottom of the bull gear and the inside of that uh, rear end casing so if they get ice underneath there it gets jammed up underneath that bull gear and it's not too uncommon to see these with with uh, welds or brazes on the bottom of the the uh, rear end casing because it'll actually um, bust out the bottom of that casing and that actually happened on my uh, my grandpa's 1940m so that's one reason not to move these or not to force them in the winter time if they're not if they're not rolling don't force it because you probably got ice in the rear end so we'll uh we'll let this heat up for another half hour or so and then i'll run up to the old fleet farm and get some 80 90 weight and uh this thing holds 13 gallons but i'll probably get i don't know maybe 10 gallons that should be Hopefully plenty if I drain out 10 and add 10 that should be Should be plenty. I would hope so Anyhow, that's uh, that's the problem we're dealing with now. So stay tuned because There's a big surprise at the end of the video that we're gonna let you guys see so Yeah, stay tuned All right guys well little glimpse of what we've drained out of this thing I had to drain everything, all 13 gallons. Um, obviously it's a little bit of a caramel color. So I've got 13 gallons of junk 80-90 weight. But I can pretty much put the plug back in it now. It's pretty well ready to refill. So whatever's left in there isn't going to cause any issue. So. Let's refill it, and if anybody's curious, the fill point is right here. So I'll clean this off as best I can before I open this up and get my funnel and start dumping it in. All right, guys. Well, now that we got all new fluid in here and uh, all the water out and ice out, we should be good to go. Um, kind of a disadvantage to keeping things out in the elements is they do uh, they do suffer because water will find a way. But uh, generally, a lot of the times they get in through one of three areas. 
Uh, the shifter, it can get in through the top of the shifter. It can also get in from around the fill plug. It'll seep down around the threads. And then these, these uh, transmission top bolts that go all the way around as well as the seat bolts. So there's a number of different areas it can get in from, but we got it taken care of. I'm just gonna drive this thing back there and uh, pick up that heater, put it in the garage, all the blankets that Domino borrowed me, and uh, extension cords and all that stuff. So let's uh, go ahead and drive back there and clean up. stuff here and I think that's going to be it so it's time for the big surprise I hope you guys are ready check it out